An Afghan translator is finally back home in Austin. And like so many in Afghanistan last year, the U.S. citizen was desperate to get his family out of that country as it fell to the Taliban. Up until a few days ago, the 29-year-old was living on a military base. In this KVU Defenders exclusive, investigative reporter Jenny Lee sat down with the translator and the lawmaker who stepped in to help at the last minute. Working as a translator for the U.S. military made Wally proud. We're not using his last name because he's still his family in Afghanistan. I always wanted to do my part for the country, for my people. From 2010 to 2014, the 29-year-old worked on several missions with different units in Afghanistan. But Wally had to leave when U.S. troops started to pull out. I was more of like a high target, you know, because of the work that I did. So I realized the danger, you know, of, of me being in Afghanistan. In early 2015, Wally left his family behind in Afghanistan and arrived in the Austin area, a decision for which he credits the man next to him in this picture, Captain Michael Thompson, who is from Georgetown. It's probably the best decision of my life. Wally's decision to move to Austin would later lead to another life-altering moment at the Hamid Karzai International Airport in Kabul in August of 2021. We were just not prepared for how fast, you know, things just took turn for the worst. Months earlier, Wally returned to Afghanistan, hoping to get his family out before U.S. forces pulled out. But as more cities fell to the Taliban, Wally became frightened. He knew, as someone who helped the U.S. military put Taliban members behind bars, his presence put his family at risk. I was scared to death for my family. Would it have meant almost certain death for your family? Yes. 100%. Wally and his family spent a week and a half trying to get inside the airport at Kabul. No luck. And what he saw. There were thousands of people, desperate people, trying to get inside the airport. Was horrifying. I don't know how we survived it. You know, there were kids passing out. There were toddlers passing out. There were elderly people passing out because how hot it was and how congested it was, you know, and people had been there without food and water for days. Wally, his you wife, know, his mother, and two- and three-year-old daughters tried to get inside several times. And despite his U.S. citizenship status, Wally had no luck. I lost hope. He finally asked his military friends for help. Remember Captain Michael Thompson, the one who convinced Wally to make Austin his home? His father made a call. We were really working around the clock with him and with other people to see that they were saved. Congressman Lloyd Doggett says he can't believe what a U.S. citizen had to go through. He was telling me, you know, every time he passed a checkpoint, there was a possibility that one of the people he was responsible for putting in jail was going to take him out of the car and execute him. God, that's just oh, it, 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 he went through so much. It's like out of a bad movie. The representative and his staffers worked with the State Department to get Wally and his family access to a classified gate at the airport. But even after arriving there, Wally's mother wasn't allowed through despite having proper documentation. That's when the congressman's deputy chief of staff made a call. I said this from State Department is the latest guidance. And I repeated back. I think it was close family members. That was the definition of who was allowed to go through at that point. A few minutes later. And as soon as I took a step inside the airport and, and we were just hugging each other, we were smiling, we were happy. We took a deep breath and, and, and that was a big relief. Relief because Wally knew the hard part was over. His happiness, however, is accompanied by sadness as his sister, extended family and others who helped the U.S. government remain in Afghanistan. They're being left behind, you know, they're they're in hidings right now. Wally worries about their future, but at the same time knows he can only determine his own. <laughs> These days, he's staying at a motel in Round Rock, waiting for permanent housing. He has the company of other Afghan refugees here. Wally is excited to be in Austin again, this time with his family, knowing he wouldn't be here without the help of some now fellow Texans. I'm so grateful for the help and support, you know, that I received uh, from, from Congressman um, Eloy Doggett. For the KB Defenders, I'm Jenny Lee. What a story. Amazing.